Marvel Legends fans and collectors, we're going to take a look in the next few videos at the Fantastic Four from the sort of retro uh, Marvel Legends wave that sort of came out in the last 12 months. Um, I'm still waiting on one. Um, I don't have them all at hand yet. I have 75%. So we're going to start with uh, Mr. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, I, I really like this figure. I, uh, we, we got them in at uh, Kess Run here uh, and Collectibles, um, which is where I work. And uh, they sat there for a long time. <laughs> um, you know, there were just so many out and about um, all over the place. And I never really, I never, I wanted to pick them up. I like, I really like the look of them. Um, but it's only recently that I've decided to uh, grab them and complete the team. Um, I do have uh, Johnny Storm coming. I didn't go for the Human Torch sort of clear version. Um, instead, I wanted I wanted to get the uh, Johnny Storm with the blue outfit and the flame effects. So that one is en route from uh, from Taiwan, I think. Um, so yeah, I had to pick that one up online. That was an exclusive somewhere at some point. But uh, yeah, we, we'll start with uh, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Reed Richards. Um, and yeah, they did do a wave of fem sort of a more modern Fantastic Four um, probably a year and a half ago, if memory serves me right. They had this sort of more blue and black. Um, Mr. Fantastic came with longer arms and, you know, he had the, I think he had the beard. Um, but yeah, I like, I like this classic look. I like the white and the blue. Um, I love that he comes with his lab coat. His stretchy fingers. I think that looks, I think it looks really cool, actually. Nice, nice head sculpt. I think that looks good. I don't believe it's been used anywhere else yeah I think they've captured the essence of a classic uh, Reed Richards I think it looks good you know, as far as the like body's concerned I don't think they did much different with the sort of the other Fantastic Four they released recently um, it was just a color thing where it was sort of black instead of white and maybe some different accessories I don't think he came with the coat um, but yeah, I'm not not 100 sure on that one. So yeah, he comes with he does come with a change of hands. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I really like the lab coat. I like the accessory. I like it's uh, it is removable um, and looks good. If you've got a you know a little bit of a diorama builder, you could have a little lab or something. You could set it up. You can have him working in his lab. I think that would look that would be pretty cool to sort of see that. Um, but yeah, the the so. In terms of the accessories, you know, these arms are quite easy. Little moment there. But yeah, the arms do come out quite easily. Um, you know, <laughs> quite easily almost just like whack my arm on the wall. And then you can just sort of pop the coat off that way. And you can just, you know, put them aside. The hands will swap out with these arms as well. So you can switch out for the uh, regular blue arms. They pop in quite easily. They're not going to fall out or anything, which is nice too. But yeah, you do just get these hands, a sort of, you know, just a regular holding hand, and this one's slightly, slightly more relaxed. Um, a fist would have been cool, um, but you know, at this point, if you're if you're a big Marvel Legends collector, I'm sure you've got a set of white hands somewhere from someone. Um, so yeah, not a big deal. It's something I will source at some point. Um, but again, no urgency. It's just cool to have have these these figures and getting the team together. Yeah, it's all the all the sort of old school articulation. You know, this this mold is the sort of pretty generic sort of superhero mold that they've used for Marvel Legends for a long time. Uh, still got the pins. Um, you know, I'd love to see that sort of upgraded one day. But for now, I'm I'm more than happy with this crew. Still very eager to try and track down the Doctor Doom from from the retro wave. Um, I know he's an exclusive somewhere, but yeah, that sort of classic green Doctor Doom suit. I'd love to get that figure as well, um, just to give these guys a bit of a bit of a villain, I suppose. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really digging it. Nice articulation, you know. He sort of looks up and down, and you know the arms will move. Good movement, good enough movement. I think it's fine. Uh, some more like stringy accessories, some more like elastic sort of. You know, stretchy. A bit more than the fingers, you know. The arms would have been cool too, but that's all right. I'm happy with this one, how he is. So, yeah, there's there's the first one. 
Um, I'll be doing The Invisible Woman, aka Sue Storm, next. So stay tuned for that one. Hope you're enjoying my Marvel reviews. I'm, I'm sort of, you know, in the middle of sort of collecting bits and pieces of Marvel Legends. So, I'm, uh, you know, always have, always sort of dabbled with Marvel Legends. But, uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd bring a little bit more of that content to the channel just to expand the range a little bit. You know how it is. All right, folks, I'll see you for the next video on Invisible Woman. Thank you.